Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is exactly what the title says. I am sharing with you the Becca slash Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Collection. This is a full extension from the first collaboration she did with Becca, which was the Shimmering Skin Perfector Press and Champagne Pop, which looked like this. So Becca and Jaclyn have now released a face palette, an eyeshadow palette, and a cream and liquid version of the original Shimmering Skin Perfector and Champagne Pop. So this is what I'm going to share with you guys today and I'm very excited to give you the details and my personal thoughts on everything in this collection. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start out with the face palette because I feel like this is what a lot of people are going to be very interested in. This was the first product that I think Becca released on social media to, you know, give hints that they were dropping this collection. So the face palette is really stunning as far as packaging goes. I love the weight. It's, it's definitely a heavier palette. It's a nice gold finish on the back and the front it has a nice white plate with some silver and gold specks which I feel like if you watch Jacqueline's videos that's very true to her style because in her house she always does you know like some silver and gold accents everywhere so I thought that was a really nice decorative touch uh, it's super cute. So I love the packaging. So in the actual face palette, you get two highlighters and three blushes. So the highlighters are your standard champagne pop, which I'm sure a lot of you guys already have. Then Prosecco pop, which is the new highlighter that was designed for the palette. And then you have three blushes. You have Rose Spritz, which is kind of like a blush topper. It's a really pretty light shimmery pink color. In the middle here, we have Amaretto, which is a gorgeous kind of uh, terracotta nude blush. Blush. And on the end, you have Pample Mousse, which Pample Mousse, like, I like saying that, Pample Mousse. <laughs> So it's a nice, bright, kind of corally pink shade, uh, which I feel like will look amazing on tan to deep or dark skin tones. So as far as color selection goes in this palette, I think Becca and Jacqueline did a really good job of creating colors that are going to appeal to a lot of different skin tones. And I know that Jacqueline didn't pick out every single color in this palette, but I still feel like they kept in mind, you know, deep and dark skin tones as well. Uh, so as far as the blushes go, my favorite is Rose Spritz. If you have a light to medium skin tone, this will look like a nice pink blush on you. I do have it on right now, but if you are a little bit in the uh, tan deep dark skin tone range this will probably more be more of a blush topper uh, the terracotta color right here amaretto that would be a really pretty eyeshadow haven't tried it as an eyeshadow yet uh, but the whole palette itself is very versatile you can mix and match colors uh, and then the brighter shade of course is going to look really gorgeous on tan to deep and dark skin tones um, so yeah the palette itself is very well made uh, the packaging great and I really do like and appreciate the uh, color selection that they came up with. So this little baby is actually what I was most excited for and it did not disappoint. This is the eyeshadow palette that was released. I think Jacqueline picked out all of the colors in here. I, I feel like maybe not. Um, I, I can't remember exactly what the details were on that, um, but it is a gorgeous palette regardless of who picked out the colors in here. I mean, this is just stunning. I am wearing it on my eyes right now, and I'm not sure if I have ever liked an eyeshadow look better than the look that I have on today. Uh, so I'm going to go through the colors. You have Chardonnay right here, which is a kind of yellow golden highlight shade. Then you have Champagne Toast, which is this really pretty kind of light bronze color. Cordial, which is one of my favorites in the palette. It's probably my second favorite shade. Uh, this is a mauve tone transition color. You could use it however you want. I use it in my crease. Uh, then we have Cognac, which is exactly what the name says. It's a really nice warm medium tone brown. And on the end, this is actually my favorite color in the palette. It is called Bordeaux. It's a rich chocolatey brown with a plum undertone to it. And it blends like a dream, you guys. It's primarily what I have on my lower lid. Uh, I have Bordeaux on my lower lid and a little bit of Champagne Toast to top it off. And then I have the Cordial and Cognac shade buffed out in my crease and Chardonnay on my inner corners. Uh, so I, I love this palette. I, I can't express how much I love the colors in here, the blendability, 
the wearability, everything about this palette I am in love with. I mean, you guys will probably not see me wear a different eyeshadow look than what I've got on today for a really long time because I'm that obsessed with this palette. So in my opinion, if you could pick up anything from the collection, it would be the eyeshadow palette. I just absolutely love the shades in here. I love everything about it. Next up we have the Champagne Pop Extension in the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Formula. So this is what I like to use as a primer for my face when I'm doing a really glowy look. So that's how I used it today. I normally use the shade Opal and I can give you guys kind of a comparison and contrast. To me the Champagne Pop Liquid uh, Highlight is a little bit more sheer. It's not as like in your face as opal would be or as moonstone would be. It's a little bit more toned down but you can still see that golden sheen running through the back of my hand. I would definitely say if you were the type of person that wants a little bit more of a subtle highlight I would go for the Champagne Pop liquid version because I'm not detecting as much you guys know how Becca's highlighters normally are, uh, but with this one, especially when I put it on my face as the primer, I didn't notice that, you know, full on, like, bam, super, super glowy look. My face was still glowy, but I felt like it just wasn't as intense as Opal or Moonstone. As far as color goes, I definitely think they did a great job of matching up the color to the original Champagne Pop. It's a standard peachy gold highlight, and uh, that's what I have to say about that. Next up is the poured version of Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector. And the poured Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors I like to use for really natural looks. So anytime I'm doing like a very skin-like look that's dewy or has a really like lightweight foundation, I like to use these as my highlighters because again, I don't feel like they are as in your face as the pressed shimmering skin perfectors. Uh, but I feel like as far as the intensity, these two are very similar. They're not gonna give off that like super bam highlight like you know your press version is, but it's still a nice, gorgeous, subtle, peachy golden highlight. And again, I feel like the color in the poured formula is just a tad bit closer to the original formula. I feel like it's definitely just a hint darker than the liquid form. Um, so yeah, that is the poured version. And if you are the type of person that likes cream highlighters and likes a little bit more of a subtle highlight, I think you'll really enjoy that. Alright guys, so that is the full Champagne Glow collection. I am really thrilled to see Becca and Jacqueline come out with another really awesome collaboration. I think that uh, Jacqueline has really helped Becca excel as a company. Same thing with Becca. I think they've helped Jacqueline excel in her artistry and her creativity. And I just absolutely love everything that they have released in this collection. I really think that they kept in mind different skin tones. And they didn't just keep everything, you know, regular and neutral. I feel like these colors are definitely unique. They are ones that not everyone are going to have in their collection. And most importantly, I feel like they're going to fit a ton of different skin tones. So all in all, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the entire collection. If you're a liquid shimmering skin perfector fan, you're going to already know you want that. If you're a poured fan, you're going to get the poured. And if you are just a Becca or Jaclyn Hill fan in general, I feel like you're probably going to pick these up. Uh, and there's no reason why you shouldn't. They are stunning, great quality, packaging is just on point yes 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 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions for me feel free to leave them down below and i will see y'all in my next one bye